Hello and welcome back to Poffles Creations. And today we're going to be making this dispenser box. Please note that even though I put 450 millilitres on the jug, I actually messed up. Um, I should have made 500 millilitres. Now these little little cups, they're just ones that I've they're ones you put mouthwash in. I just bought them from the supermarket. So three of the cups I fill up quite a lot as you can see. And the fourth one, just a little bit over half full. And that's going to have this Tekaroos Royal Gold Mica Powder in it. Two good dollops of that. Stirring the pot at high speed. I wish it was always this quick. That's the gold. The other three colours we're going to be using, they're all going to be varying shades of blue. And this one is Let's Resin Light Blue. Just keep going along, mixing up each blue resin in a pot that contains glitter.
You've got your colours mixed up. Start pouring the mould. Now, you can see from the picture, this mould, it's a good little mould, but the way they get you to support the sides is not so great. I have broken this so many times. So I try the elastic band method. That does a pretty good job, but you'll see the other methods that I use to try and keep the sides of these, this box from bulging out when you put the resin in. You can pull your colours in any order that you like. This is just my preferred order. Just have fun. That's what it's all about. Never know, you might create a masterpiece. That's what I'm always hoping for anyway. Just keep going with your colours. Yeah, don't forget to put your clear resin in, the one with the glitter in it. Go around the outside with your silicon tool getting the bubbles out do the corners and then go around this middle section too that way pretty good chance that you'll get all the bubbles out a little bit of heat gun never hurts either you know the drill by now <laughs> you can see how the box bulges on the right hand side or well, on the left hand side too so these boxes even though they're nice they make a nice box the little contraption that you're supposed to put it in, it's not so good. It's very flimsy. Trusty piece of cardboard to put the lid on the stable surface, the level surface. Again, do the same thing with the box. Again, with the heat gun, silicon tool, trying to get as much of those bubbles out as you can. sharp eyed among you will see I'm almost finished pouring and I've come up short now this is because I only made 450 milliliters I don't know what I was thinking another glitch in the old brain box I seem to get quite a few these days so I only made 450 milliliters you follow the resin that comes up at the beginning 250 milliliters of part A, 250 milliliters of part B, and you'll be good. Onward. So, as I say, I was a little bit short on my resin, and all I did was whipped up a quick batch, chucked it in. <laughs> and there you can see quite closely the left and the right side of the box they really do bow out and it's very difficult to, to do anything about this here's the way I did it <laughs> but because the elastic bands are around the box I couldn't get the box on the right that I was using to shimmy up the wall to actually go in close however it did work so do whatever you've got to do I mean they should make them better but they don't obviously and now the unmolding and you can see on the bottom that extra little bit that I had to make 
to chuck in quickly. I wasn't good with my bubbles because I didn't want to disturb, you know, what, what, what had already been poured. So I got little tiny bubbles between the two layers, but I don't actually think it looks bad. I'm quite happy. And just go around and gently release the mould. Yeah, I like the sparklies and the glitter, because it's heavier than the resin, it sinks to the inside of the box because you've got it upside down. And the lid. The lid's no problem, the lid seems very stable seems to keep its shape very well. I think it's thicker because they've got more support on the bottom. So the lid's fine, the lid always seems to come out perfectly. And this, when I turn the lid over, this is when you wish the bottom was the top. <laughs> and there it is, finished project. As I say, you can see that bot that line at the bottom where I dumped in the extra resin to make up my deficit, but I love it. All in all, I'm very happy with this. I love the colours. Yeah, there we are with the line. That's all from Poffles Creations. I hope you had fun and thanks for watching.